With the release of version 7, we've made some improvements to the outer router. To illustrate them, we're going to be working with the single-sided demo board that ships with every installation of Eagle. And it's a simple example to demonstrate how the outer router can now be configured and the various parameters that we've added to it. Let's go ahead and click on the outer router icon. As you can see, we can continue an existing job just as we could in, in previous versions of Eagle or start a new one. Now, however, we have these new parameters that we need to define. Uh, as can be seen here, the auto router does now support multi-core machines. Various runs will be running on various cores, is the idea. So you can set up a maximum number of running threads. Uh, on my particular machine, two is the maximum I can do. On quad-core or even eight-core machines, that number increases. We can have the auto router select automatically what grid is the most beneficial for the, for the routing pass. And we can also determine if we want to use a top router. That is a new augmented algorithm that we've added to our original auto router. So essentially the top router gives a sketch of the best paths to our normal auto router algorithm. And then that one takes care of routing the board. It's like a combined or, or a hybrid approach of the two routing methodologies. So for now, let's say we go with a low effort. What does that mean? If I click continue. We now see that we have three, uh, three routing variants. If I hit cancel and go to the other router again and select an effort level such as medium or high, let's go with high. We see that now we have more passes that will be attempted, and each pass is set up differently. So if we click here on the on the double greater than sign button, we're going to see the various settings of each of these passes. And these are all independent. At the end, once they've all run, we're going to be able to see which of the routing passes have given us the best result. So in this case, we're going to, we can do a maximum of four. I can remove some of these passes. So let's say, for example, I don't want to do routing two. I can delete that pass. I can delete another pass. I can duplicate, make adjustments. This is all in an effort to have multiple auto router runs occur simultaneously. That way, shortening the various trials that we can do with the auto router and coming with an optimal result much faster. So let's go ahead and, and run it as is. I'm going to click on start. Okay, and essentially we're going to wait until all of these finish running. Okay, so in this case, we have this particular pass and its result. We can check out another pass, pass number four, see what results it gave. And we can check our pass with the topological router and see what result that ended up with. Okay, and we can select any of them as, a, as the one we like best. Uh, if we're not sure, we would like to look at it more closely. Let's say I want to look at this pass more closely. I can select Evaluate. This will allow me to have a good look at the routing result. I could analyze it, double check it. And if I decide that, well, maybe I liked one of the other ones better, I can once again click here on Outer Router, Continue. In this case, I'm going to say no. And I can select any of the other variants. This is the one I had before. Let's say I like this one best. Or like the topological router best. Anyone. Select the end job. And that's the one that's going to stay. Okay, we can see that in this particular case, left two air wires. That's the operation of the new topological router. Most of the settings that users are familiar with working with 
our old auto router algorithm are still applicable now. In addition, you have the top router, which essentially runs before the main auto router algorithm, defines best paths for the auto router, and then the auto router uses those to do the routing. As can, be seen, as can be seen in this case, most of the routing was done on the bottom layer for this board. And judging that we have some restrict areas, this is a beneficial outcome.